Hey everyone, Courtney from WeRank here. Joining me again today, we have Deepak Shukla from Pearl Lemon. Today we're going to chat a little bit about the WeRank tool and specifically about keyword research. So before we get started, Deepak, why don't you introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about yourself. Perfect. Thank you for the introduction, Courtney. Um, so my name is Deepak Shukla. Uh, I run an SEO and B2B lead generation agency called Pearl Lemon. Uh, we're based, uh, of course, in London as well. And um, I think that's everything, really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's fine. We'll keep it short and sweet. So last time we got some really valuable advice from you. So this time let's do a little bit more focused on the SEO audit. And specifically, I know that you've been using WooRank. So could you just walk us through a little bit how you use WooRank, how you see its benefits, and how you personally use it for Pearl Lemon or for your clients? Absolutely. It's a, it's a great question. I think the first place to, to always start, if I think about um, the life cycle of... Um, SEO and how Wu Rank is important to me. Um, initially, there's what I call the kind of, you know, some people will call it pre sale, some people will call it talking to a prospect, some people will talk about an audit specifically. But Wu Rank um, has been very useful for me in basically producing computer generated audits, of course, which is where, you know, your spiders will go through the tool. So, you, you know, if, if, if anyone's watching, just go to the free version of Wu Rank, put in your, uh, go to, go to Wu Rank, go to their homepage whack in uh, your website, put in um, your competitor's website, put in one of your client's websites, and it will ultimately just give you a, a score, right, out of 100. Um, so I put in one of my client sites, um, and it's come to a score of, for example, 74. And really simply, um, what I really like about WooRank and what's very useful for me when I'm putting together pictures on the fly, if you're looking at what I call the quick wins, it's really important, I think, um, and it's not done enough from the SEO perspective, looking at what I'd consider to be quick wins. So quick wins are the things that are relatively quickly either actionable and or identifiable. And that's what computer generated software, of course, is quite good at doing, picking up some of the glaring errors that um, you, know, you um, would see yourself perhaps, but you know, it does it really quickly and at speed. So that's where the amber, uh, sorry, the traffic light system comes in. I don't know if they call it traffic lights in the States or wherever the audience is, but basically, yeah, we rank have a, a, a red, orange, uh, sorry, a green, orange, red system. I really like that. So I just focus on the oranges and the reds and it's like, okay, cool. They're like, can you, you know, so I'll go into a lot of conversations and it'll be like, okay, cool. Can you give me some examples of quick things that you could change? And you know, that might range from um, keywords for internal site links. It might range for page titles, um, optimization. And, you know, it, it, it could be um, a bunch of stuff. So that is where um, Woo Rank has been useful for me. And for anyone that's listening, I'd say that you know, if you're already a user of, of course, Woo Rank, then I'm kind of preaching to the converted. So this probably isn't for you what I'm saying because it's that all of this stuff is very obvious. If you're in the process of choosing between different software tools, and there's like a ton of them, right? Um, you can go to either, I don't know, you could even look at tools that aren't necessarily tools as such, such as Google Page Insights, GT Metrics, um, different web crawlers, page graders. I think maybe even Neil Patel has one. The red orange and green system is very cool. So even if you're someone who's just getting started with SEO, you can look at some of the orange and some of the red items and work out pretty quickly some of the simple things you need to change. And that is always, to be honest with you, where I start when I'm, for example, having a conversation or someone's asking me something and I need a 15 second response. I'll type it in, I'll have a look at what it comes back with and that'll give me kind of the first basis for where I can begin looking at quick wins. And that was a very long response. I'm so sorry, Courtney. No, that's, okay. <laughs> that's fine. You know, if I just let you talk, I get these little pearls of wisdom. And is that why it's called Pearl Lemon? Maybe. I, I, I like that. That that I feel so, I, I should like, I should embrace what you just said, but suddenly somehow I'm embarrassed. I'm like, oh my God. Uh, yeah, no, so, so um, it's cool. The, 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 the simplicity, right? Because I think that, it's very difficult for someone coming in, I, honestly, to distinguish, well, how does Wu Rank really compare to, you know, the, the SEM rush audit? How, how does it compare to this audit and to that audit? And for me, everything, um, not everything, but a lot is about usability, right? Because you're gonna get a lot of information from every tool, but, but information is just information. Um, and it's how it's one curated, 
because you want to just focus on the actionable items and the visual grading system. I, I, I really um, do like a lot. So that's one of the things that I notice is, oh, I've got a limited kind of time and attention. This is a great kind of entry into jumping into the WooRank software in a way that's actually practically useful for either giving it to you know your in-house technical team, talking to a potential new prospect, or of course, looking at your own site and being like, whoa, I've got all these errors I never knew about. I like what you said about using it kind of for your own purposes of using it as more of a prospecting tool. You know, I think, of course, I'm, what I'm going to say is going to sound biased because I work at WooRank specifically for marketing, <laughs> but it really can be used for a lot of different cases, you know, whether you're using it as a prospecting tool or if this is your very first time doing SEO, this color coding, the kind of intuitive color coding, like you said, like a traffic light really does make you stop and see it very visually. Okay, this is red. That's a major error. This is something I need to address before maybe the the orange or anything like that. So I think that's really cool that you can use it for all those different, different reasons. Um, now getting into some of the more advanced tools. Have you played around with the advanced tools yet? Yes. Um, so we were just talking about this last night, of course, when um, I managed to fantastically uh, delete a lot of my keyword tracking. So uh, that was brilliant because I had to look at you know some kind of historical data. Um, so I've been playing around with the um, advanced review section of um, looking at, at, at websites and looking at uh, historical reporting for keywords has been really interesting because one of the other things and now. I'm probably talking to someone who's already um, working with a client or working on their own web website. Looking at the, the, the history of, of a keyword is quite interesting because sometimes, as has often been the case, uh, I, you know, we, 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 we inherit marketing systems. We inherit the legacy work of previous SEO agencies that have been working for someone who's come to you and said, hey, my last agency weren't very good. Or, hey, you know, I tried doing some stuff myself and then kind of people will either, you know, don't know what they don't know. So what was really useful um, for me when I was looking at your key keyword tool specifically is that I can look at historical data to see um, where a keyword has risen or fallen over time. So that was very useful. And then practically speaking also as well, in my case, that if you happen to um, delete your reporting, you can go back and try and recover some of I, hey, I want to show you how much I, you've improved, but you know I deleted any evidence of any improvement, so now I need to <laughs> I need to go and find it. So so so, so that was um, yeah, pretty to be honest with you, pretty pretty helpful. And, and again, simplicity, right? Um, if I even you know what, like um, what I'm gonna do, I don't know how this works. I'm gonna share my screen. Um, one of the um, so again, um, you know, it's, it's simplicity. What I like is it gives me the volume. It gives me go, you know, it gives me the current keyword ranking of of a client that I've got here. And and to be honest with you, that's all that I need. Like sometimes you can get CPC volume locally, CPC volume globally. You can get um, th there's various things that you can get keyword evolution over time, and a lot of that kind of adds noise to really the two core things that ultimately make the difference from both my perspective and also the people that you know I'll report to which is you know this is the keyword volume for a specific word such as bubble balloons and this is where you currently rank for that and we want to get that rank up so so that's been um, super useful to me as well um, and I'm just realizing that um, I'm sharing clients back in so I'm going to immediately stop sharing my screen now because uh, I may get in trouble. <laughs> Um, now, uh, yeah. I noticed on your screen that you haven't started doing the competitive research for your client yet. Have you have you experimented with that at all? You know what? I have not, and I need to. So uh, in the interest of value adding, I'm going to say, guys, that I'll come back to you and, and talk to you um, about that. But I can talk to you about something else that I really like um, that I have not seen anywhere else. So um, the reason I got introduced initially to Wu Rank, and you don't know this, Courtney, was because I was looking um, at what certifications that are available. And I noticed that there was a Wu Rank certification. So um, I did go through and, and, and start, I think I, may, I think I may have even become Wu Rank certified. And this was a couple, this is maybe 18 months back. I became certified and then um, I didn't actually come back to the software at the time. But what's really quite interesting and unique that's been useful for me is that you, um, and let me, 
if I log out, to be honest with you, you, you can ultimately contact a Wu Rank certified specialist. And, and that is, I've not seen that before. And, and for me, that's a pretty singular thing because uh, and, and, and it's really interesting that no, more people don't do it because you can, I think there's Yoast SEO certifications. I think there's Hootsuite University. Um, I don't know whether, for example, um, I don't know if SEMrush do something specific, but I certainly do know that, you know, at the point at which you run a report, you can get an option to connect with a WooRank certified specialist. And I think that that's, that, that's very cool. And for those people that perhaps look at using, using WooRank singularly for themselves and they're not maybe an agency, I think that's a part where it becomes really powerful or SEO technicians within a larger company that are looking to do the SEO in-house. I think the ability to jump on a quick call and connect with someone who, you know, I have a specific problem with a software, I have this specific problem and they can help you with it. So that was something that I found to be quite powerful and, and, and it gives um, a level of curation that, again, um, you wouldn't necessarily get when you have that issue of overwhelm. You know, there's tools that can do everything and there's tools that can do many things, but you know, Pareto's law always tells us that ultimately there's only going to be 20% of the tool that is going to produce 80% of your results. And, and I think that we will discover by ourselves quickly what they are, but for everything else, that's where a specialist comes in. And it's like, okay, cool, I need something that's a one-off and I could connect with a specialist. So, so, so that was quite interesting for me. And I don't know how long that's been part of the software, but certainly I, I noticed it yesterday and I was like, oh, this is cool, I could connect with a specialist. Yeah, it is cool. And I think that's one of the parts of Rank that I like the best. And of course, I have to always like preface this by saying that I'm biased, but I think our tool is is pretty malleable depending on your your SEO expertise. If you're an agency and you want to use it for reporting like you do at ProLemon, you can use it that way. If you just can't be bothered to hire an agency, but you don't know what to do, you can contact our experts. If you have a technical team when you run the site crawl and you get all your results for the site crawl, but you don't have any idea what a canonical tag is, you can download it as a CSV and give it to your dev team and just like let them take care of it, even though you did the reporting. So I think that's a really cool aspect of our tool that not everyone has, that you really can kind of choose your own adventure, so to speak. <laughs> oh, I, I completely agree. And I think that it's, it, it's a good initial you know, entry point into using a tool uh, massively and I think this is the important thing actually I think someone else told me like um, and, and, and something that I don't do enough it's very rare that I will use a tool to its full actual power um, instead what I end up doing is like trying to implement or build in new tools to you know everyone like what's your marketing stack or what's your productivity stack uh, for anyone who's thinking what the hell's a stack I just mean, what are all the tools that you'll use as part of marketing? Someone asked me, what are you talking about? But I stacked the other day and I thought, okay, cool. I'm, you know, um, so, so I think that, um, you know, that's something that I definitely, you know, I would advise everybody to do more that, you know, WooRank could do everything for you. Don't really ask or don't, you know, have the expectation that day one you'll use everything immediately, but just, just begin with the quick wins. And, 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 you know, it's always better just to kind of stay within one software and see, how they do everything because whilst for example one product may do a particular feature individually perhaps better than you know maybe wu rank the problem with that is is that there's also the burden of learning there's a burden of switching and it's really just much better to use one tool fabulously well as opposed to using like three different tools because you just end up using all of them half assed and i speak from experience when i've done that some of the time as well yeah, for sure. Um, you actually brought me to a question that I that I want to ask you that I think is so valuable for for not just Wu Rank users or Wu Rank trial users or people who are thinking about SEO. Why is it important to not just do one SEO audit and then never look at it again? Uh, it's a it's, it's it's a really great question. Um, so if you are doing one audit and never looking at it again, then you probably are still dabbling and you've not set up on it. Um, so, 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 so a couple of things, right? Um, an SEO audit, so do you mean, just to clarify, Courtney, do you mean an SEO audit day one or throughout the lifetime of working on SEO for a company? Do you, do you mean one or the other? Do you mean both? 
I, I kind of mean both. What I mean is I'll take a very specific use that some people will, you know, log into one of these SEO tools. They will use it once. They'll get their static score. They'll see the things they need to change and then they never think about it again. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely agreed. Uh, okay. So, 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 so guys, um, SEO is living and breathing organism. And, and I think that sometimes the difficulty is, is that a report, because it's a PDF and it doesn't have moving widgets, inherently it's static. But that doesn't mean that the information it's referring to is the same. So if you, for example, see that your site is not mobile friendly or you're not, you haven't you know, used accelerated mobile pages, you're like, aha, I'm going to get the WordPress plugin. I'm going to fix that. My dev guy is going to say, perfect, this is done. That does not mean in three months from now that you will you will get a green tick again. The reason for that is is because the accelerated mobile plugin sits within its own infrastructure. Number one, it's got the WordPress developer that's relying upon it for updates to support the software. Number two, the WordPress CMS might change because it might go through an update that means that the the plugin no longer functions the way it did. Number three, you've got plugins that you probably might add, remove, or they may update themselves over time. So it's not as if that particular plugin is operating in a vacuum. It's operating within the context of live and breathing organisms. And this is just me talking about a singular plugin, right? And this is just talking about the WordPress CMS, about the WordPress plugin repository. Now, factor that by a thousand, when you think of all of the complications, right? Factor it literally by a thousand when all of the pot potential variations within SEO, within marketing, and that is what should demonstrate why you need to go back and see, you know, what an audit will tell you. And that's, to be honest with you, Courtney, something that is also important that you, if certainly if you're an agency, if I'm talking to you, that you should educate your clients upon because I've sometimes had some pushback when I run a uh, speed implementation or do something specific, and then three months later, they're like, the speed's gone rubbish again. You didn't do your job initially well three months ago. And, and, and it's also important that you educate them and say, this list of items to fix, some of it may come back again, but it's because we need to do maintenance. And, and, it, and it begins with the audit, as you said. So, so you're, 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 you're completely right, I agree. Yeah, I, I say it all the time that SEO is a marathon. It is not a sprint. You can't just make these quick fixes and expect to be number one Google result. And then you just never have to touch your website again. <laughs> like, it's just it's yeah. just not how it works. And especially, I mean, for those of you who are new to SEO that are listening, if you think your competitors aren't doing the same thing and doing an SEO audit and looking at what you're doing and looking at your keywords and optimizing their sites to compete with you, you're wrong. That's what they're doing. So you need to be doing it too. Absolutely. I, I agree. <laughs> Deepak, final thoughts on WooRank. Please compliment us more. No, <laughs> no absolutely. Okay, final thoughts on WooRank. Uh, well, number one, I love the lane. It's very memorable. Number two, the traffic light system is, is, is simple and functional. Number three, there are WooRank, of course, specialists that you can connect with. And number four, if you find that, you know, there's all of these different features from, you know, whether it's uh, site crawls, SEO monitoring, you can look at keywords, you can look at advanced SEO audits. Um, I'd say that you know starting starting simple is is definitely the best way to go. And from from my perspective, where Wu Rank excels is um, you know some of the simplicity of the use of its tools, um, even from the initial UX going in and seeing what you can do. So you know with that in mind and with what you do with SEO in mind, as complicated as it can become, um, focus upon you know some of the you know the simple things. Um, and Wu Rank itself, you know, from my perspective, because um, I'm busy, because I've got several clients that are asking me different things. I've got to do reporting. Maybe, you know, in March, Google released an algorithm update that meant one of my clients lost a bunch of branded keywords. And and with all of these different pressures upon your time going on, simplicity always wins, and simplicity always works. And and for me, that's what I do quite like um, about Wu Rank that it does. The, 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 some of the simple things that I need really, really well. And I keep coming back for those reasons because um, tools or features sometimes get in the way of, you know, this is my problem. So, so, so for me, it's been really great. 
Awesome. Well, that's so great to hear. And um, of course, anybody who's watching, if you have questions about the tool, if you need help with the tool, you can email me directly, Courtney at Wurank. You can find Deepak on LinkedIn because he's the king of LinkedIn. Uh, you can contact either one of us. You can contact Wurank. You can leave it in the comments. Just let us know. I'd be happy to walk you through the tool, give you some demonstrations of what, what Deepak has liked about the tool and just really show you around. Um, so that's all I have for today with you, Deepak, but guys tune in next time. Uh, we're not sure what we're going to talk about yet, but we will, <laughs> we will find something that's uh, hopefully interesting to you. touch with. So if you guys want us to talk about anything specifically, leave it in the comments and we'll try to, we'll try to work around that too. Agreed. Amazing. Thank you as well, Courtney, for having me on. Uh, it's been fun. Yeah, as always. All right, Deepak. Thank you so much. Bye.